Mary, Ted. All right, AJ, thank you. A young girl molested. The man accused of attacking her allowed to live right next door. And it's all because of a loophole in state law. The victim's dad and lawmakers telling Fox 6's Derricka Williams they are outraged. You guys, they really are. It's almost unimaginable thinking that someone is forced to live next to the person that's accused of sexually assaulting them. Well, right now, there is a for sale sign outside of Robert Lamkin's home. The district attorney says currently he's not staying here, but for a while he was, and that's what caused a lot of emotional stress. She screamed, and then once he heard the voice, she just panicked. She flipped out. I want in the house. Let me go in the house. And she stayed there. She don't even like looking out the window. Jimmy Street says his eight year old daughter is frightened to even go outside, still scared from being allegedly sexually assaulted by 60 year old Robert Lampkin. A lot of anxiety when she's outside. According to a criminal complaint, the girl was in an alley between the two homes near Flett and Washington Avenue when Lampkin unzipped her jacket and inappropriately touched her on the chest. He later admitted to police he put his hands inside the child's blouse but didn't think she noticed. The little girl's terror didn't end there. Uh, and after his arrest, he was then released on bail the next day. Uh, the problem is he lives right next door. There's a lot of nightmares she goes through. So to protect children like Street's daughter, local lawmakers proposed a piece of legislation called Isabella's Law. Representative Weatherston and I have teamed up to change the law that says a judge cannot release somebody on bail next door to the alleged victim. They cannot be in the adjacent property and they must be at least 250 feet away. State representatives Corey Mason and Thomas Weatherston don't want any victims living in fear and hope the bipartisan support will help make a change. We do have uh, support from the speaker, uh, so we feel that this bill will be expressed through. We hope it will be. Yeah. We have uh, several senators that are willing to sign on to it. So uh, our, in our opinion, we think it's going to move along very rapidly and become law soon. Law is being circulated for co-sponsors and should get a bill number sometime next week. Hopefully, um, senators believe, hopefully state, rent, state representatives rather, uh, hope that it will get taken up sometime in June during the first floor session. And they believe that, you know, hopefully it will go through the Assembly and the Senate and ultimately it's up to the governor to pass it. As for Lampkin, he's due back in court May 3rd for the sexual assault case. Reporting live in Racine, Derricka Williams, Fox 6 News. Derricka, thank you for that. The Packers want you, the